Welcome back, Lakers. My name is Blair Thompson. And I'm Sam Shepperman. It's been an eventful last couple of weeks here at Grand Valley. Yes, it has. As we head into our Thanksgiving break, we take a look at some of the major events. There have been many protests throughout the country since Donald Trump won the election. One of the most recent ones here happened on Grand Valley's campus. Trump, go away! Racist, sexist, anti-gay! Protesters gathered Monday afternoon to express their distaste in President-elect Donald Trump. Protesters held signs and sung chants as they made their way through campus, starting at the clock tower and visiting several locations, such as Zumbridge Hall and the Student Services Building. Students expressed their desire to make the campus a safer space and presented a list of demands for the school in order to do so. I think everybody is just like taking it in. A lot of people are upset, you know, just knowing that somebody um, possibly assaulted some women and a lot of women, you know, being assaulted and men as well. It's just a lot of emotions, a lot of different things people are feeling, so they just want to come together and say something about it. This is the most recent of several protests happening in the area, with multiple demonstrations downtown over the last few weeks. So what was it like being there? Um, it was very powerful and intense, and you can tell a lot of people are hurt by this election. Last Tuesday, GVSU students received a small glimpse into deaf culture. Deaf World, an event raising awareness of the barriers those with hearing impairments face on a day-to-day -day life, had students trying to complete tasks with limited communication methods. Tonight's event was really uh, fun, really beneficial. Uh, the hardest part is not being able to talk, because I don't know sign language. And so doing the different tasks and activities that they had prepared for us just took longer than you know, what normally would take me to do. The fact that 35% of Americans are hard of hearing really sheds light on the fact that everybody should know sign language today. And I just think that it's a real eye-opening uh, event tonight. Deaf World also taught many students some basic sign language that they can hopefully use to help communicate in the future. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, it's the season of giving. Grand Valley State University's Alpha Omicron Pi chapter is all about giving in this year's philanthropy event. The sorority of Alpha Omicron Pi has hosted an event called Sisters for Soldiers. This is a competition between different Greek organizations to see who could collect and donate the most items. Everything collected will be put into care packages and sent to soldiers away from their families during the holidays. Yeah, so this event is um, new to AOPI's Philanthropies. It's called Sisters for Soldiers. And basically we create care packages for soldiers and send them overseas. Um, we like collect blankets and uh, pillows and just anything really that we think they might need, we send over to them to help them make their Christmas and holidays a little bit better. During a time of separation between the GVSU community, AOPI members believe that they are not only helping the soldiers overseas, but establishing a middle ground that everyone can get behind. I am beyond grateful for the amount of support I've gotten, not only from my chapter, but from the Greek community. Um, one day, we really hope that we don't have to have these events anymore because all of our troops will be home instead of overseas. But for now, that's not the case. And honestly, like after the results of the election last week, I know some people were very, very upset by it. And having this event now just really helps bring that patriotism back to our campus and restores everyone's love for America. Members of both Greek organizations and GVSU students attended the event on November 15th. They were able to socialize, eat snacks provided, and even create notes to be put into the care packages being sent out. The organization that donated the most items, the sorority Gamma Phi Beta, was awarded $100 towards their own philanthropy. Also in Allendale, the Lakers remain on top. Here's Ethan with the sports. Thanks, Blair. The GBSU men's basketball team had two games at home this week as they took on Great Lakes Christian and Trinity Christian. On Wednesday, the Lakers defeated Great Lakes Christian by a score of 91-36. to Five Lakers scored in double figures in the win. On Friday, the Lakers defeated Trinity Christian 85-48 to after trailing by six points at halftime. Trevin Alexander had a double-double for the Lakers with 10 points and 10 rebounds. The Lakers women's basketball team had just one game this week as they took on Rochester at the Laker Fieldhouse on Friday. The Lakers picked up the victory by a score of 86-46. to Lindsey Baker led all scorers with 17 points for the Lakers. The men's and women's cross-country team competed in the NCAA D2 Championship on Saturday morning in St. Leo, Florida. The men's team finished in second place, falling just short of the number one ranked Adams State. Sophomore Zach Panning finished fifth place to, to lead all Lakers. Meanwhile, the women's team went on to win their fifth national championship in fourth in five years. Senior Kendra Foley finished first overall, winning her second national championship in three years. Congrats, Lakers. 
Elsewhere in NCAA playoffs, the women's soccer team played in the Midwest Regional Final on Friday as they took on number 22 ranked Truman State at the GVSU soccer field. The Lakers came away with a 2-0 win, clinching their eighth straight regional title. GLIAC Offensive Player of the Year, Marty Corby, scored both goals for the Lakers. Back to you, Sam. Our Laker reporter, Maitland Mosell, decided to see what Lakers are thankful for this year. We're in Kirkhoff Center asking students how excited they are for a break before finals. So what are you doing for the Thanksgiving holiday? I am going home, back to the east side to hang out with family and to see my grandparents. And then we have a tradition where we make Christmas cookies every year. So I'm really excited for it. A lot of family from Tennessee, Wisconsin, and Colorado are coming in town. Uh, I'm probably going to go home, see uh, family, friends, as I always do on the east side. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm going back to the east side and spending time at my cousin's house. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, probably stuffing, and my grandma makes really good um, blueberry pies. My grandmother's homemade dressing or stuffing. Pie. Everything. Um, I would have to say mashed potatoes. <laughs> so what are you most thankful for this year? Oh, man. Uh, probably just all my good friends, my brothers in both my fraternities, Delta Epsilon and PMA. Um, I'm most thankful for my family and also the opportunity to work with kids. My roommates, they have such a great sense of community and they pour so much love into me when I need it the most and I'm just so grateful for them. My family, they've been really tight-knit lately and been supporting me through everything I've done so far. So, Well, Lakers, have a great Thanksgiving break and for Laker News, I'm Maitland Moselle. Thanks for tuning in on this episode of Laker News. Have a great Thanksgiving, Lakers. Anchor up.